Hello everyone, my name is Anton Shipulin. I'm an industrial cybersecurity evangelist and certified engineer at Nozomi Networks with an experience more than 10 years helping industrial companies all over the world to protect their control systems. And today I would like to present to give you an overview of artificial intelligence and machine learning application in OT and IoT cybersecurity uh, demonstrating an example how AI and machine learning can automate and improve cybersecurity processes in OT and IoT environment. I'm not, uh, I'm not an AI scientist. I'm a cybersecurity professional interested in AI and machine learning for solving security problems for my clients, for myself, and also interested in risk that AI and machine learning bring in. Talking about Artificial intelligence, it's important to understand that AI is a broad term, is a field of science and technology about the ability of machine to perform tasks that are typically associ associated with human intelligence, such as learning, problem solving, decision making, and there are lots of different uh, artificial intelligence algorithms and techniques. I would like to present them in historical waves. According to DARPA agency, there have been three main waves. The first one is hard, handcrafted knowledge. So this is basically rule-based expert systems that could simulate human thinking and decision-making processes using symbolic representation. The second one is introduced the machine learning, the statistical learning, machine learning techniques and neural networks for learning patterns from training data sets or prior knowledge. So this is supervised learning. And the third one, which is happening right now, is a contextual ado adaptation. So this is the context aware and explainable AI systems, the system that can understand and adapt to complex real world context without training data set or prior knowledge. So unsupervised learning. AI has become a popular term these days. Almost every vendor is saying they use AI in their system and they might be right. They might use AI, even basic AI, uh, first way AI techniques like rule-based and expert-based system. This is AI, this is also AI, but this is a first way, basic AI. It cannot help you with solving problems with big data, but it is AI. To solve problem with, with this data, this is the place where the real machine learning te te techniques needed. The, per, the second and third way is important. Machine learning is the real AI for solving problems. So there are four big machine algorithms groups that help to solve problems with big data analysis, in particular in cybersecurity. The first one is regression algorithms that help to predict the future events from past data. The second one is classification algorithms that help split data into known categories. Third one is clustering that discovers new patterns in data without knowing categories. And the fourth one is generative algorithms that help that generate synthetic data, which we see these days a lot with all these uh, GPT chats. And now we are moving to the application of AI to cybersecurity. I will give you an overview of three main domains of uh, intersection AI and cybersecurity. The first one is threats to AI systems. The second one is AI-based cyber attack. And the third one is AI for cybersecurity. The first one is threats to AI systems. AI systems with their machine learning models and data may be an attractive target for cyber attackers itself. So there is a good resource which is called Mitra Atlas, Atlas Framework with the, uh, that collecting possible attack techniques to artificial intelligence based system uh, such as data poisoning and uh, uh, evading machine learning model, denial of machine, machine learning service it's a great resource to be aware of the attacks to AI-based systems. The second domain is AI-based cyber attacks. The bad guys, the 
cyber attackers they also see the value of using artificial intelligence and machine learning to, to make their attack faster and more effect, effective and accurate. Uh, they use it for different applications such as analyzed the vast amount of data and creating summaries on victims, finding vulnerabilities, generating code and uh, automate uh, malware development, crafting phishing email, form formulate new attacks, creating deep fakes. All this, uh, so this, all these modern attacks should be addressed these days. And the third domain is AI for cybersecurity. How AI and machine learning help to increase the speed and accuracy of cybersecurity processing technologies. These days, many solutions use the AI under the hood. We just don't see that. We don't see that algorithms. We see the, the result of, of, of their work. Uh, such applications as big data analysis and correlation, detecting anomalies, known and unknown attacks, threat intelligence data analysis, threat hunting hypo and hy hypothesis generation, financial and material fraud detection, vulnerability finding and privatization, code generation, source code analysis, network risk scoring, training and awareness, incident response automation. This is just a, a, a few examples of AI for cybersecurity for, improve, for improving processes. And now we are moving to application of AI and machine learning to OT cybersecurity. We know the OT is different. There are control systems, there, uh, there are physical processes, there is process telemetry data, there is process variables, and this is where machine learning helps with analysis of this data couple of novel solutions there. First one is field bus level zero monitoring, monitoring level zero to level one communications, detecting process anomalies with machine learning methods, uh, considered complementary, uh, increasing OT environment visibility. The second one is digital twin based security analytics. Digital twins are sophisticated models of physical processes and control system where correlation between the various points and the process can be identified through machine learning. Helps with early detection and predictive analysis, but digital twins needs to be built for each site process control system. That's why they are expensive. These solutions are complementary methods to OT cybersecurity. Uh, still doesn't have, uh, doesn't get much mind share of the industry. Therefore, still the most effective AI and machine learning based OT security technology these days is OT network security monitoring, helping with such use cases as alert correlation and root cause analysis, advanced vulnerability and risk prioritization, learning the behavior of process variables collected from network traffic and highlighting anomalies from the baseline time series, dynamic network communication visualization, advanced asset identification and many other use cases. In conclusion, I would like to say that benefits from AI and machine learning for cybersecurity are quite obvious, and this is how industries see them, according to latest Sense survey. The audience see that AI and machine learning help increase the speed of detection and response, lowers IT costs, increase, increases cyber analysis effectiveness and accuracy, and it is improving your overall security posture. For those who are choosing their AI-based security provider, there are recommended questions to ask, like how smart is their AI and what exact algorithms are in use? What does the AI do and how can it deal with your security tasks? Can it detect, protect from modern AI-based based attacks? And how is the AI itself protected from the risk to it, uh, including attacks, techniques, attack techniques mentioned in Mitre Atlas framework. As a final thought, these days with all these talks, with all these AI around us, there is a fear that AI will take our jobs. I don't believe in that. With all this shortage of cyber professional all over the world, in particular in OT and IoT cybersecurity, AI is a tool. It is augmentation, not annihilation. It, is, it helped the bridge the skill gap. So artificial intelligence will not replace humans, but a human using artificial intelligence 
will. Thank you very much, Anton Schipulin.